Alright, we're going to try to give y'all 20 minutes to piss me off. I'm going to be serious. This is what happened. The Jack K's guy in the refrigerator. First of all, I was cooking eggs, fried. This is what happened. Y'all want to know God. Knowing God. Uh, fucking, I got a fucking kids, two kids with a fucking mom. Um, serious, be mad. All right. She a fucking bitch and she be lying and shit. You must think I'm fucking slow. Uh, this is what it is. First of all, before we ever had kids, her first two, not, not abortion, miscarriage, we was staying on Aiken. And I didn't sign her to move up her fucking brother and them in the fucking house, but okay, you want to take part in some fucking bills and live in the basement? All right. While me and Raymond was fucking taking the, not the refrigerator, that's what pissed me off. We was taking him a fucking couch into the basement and it got stuck in the stairwell. And they was sitting there fucking, what the fuck is you sitting over here trying to chaperone us fucking carry a fucking couch for? We know you ain't helping us. What the fuck is you standing there fucking watching for? Get the fuck out of the way. Or uh, don't talk shit. Obviously, we fucking got it stuck. <laughs> All right, I'm pissed off. Shut the fuck up. Ah, right, you can go. I can go, bitch. Can I get the fucking down payment money on this fucking house? The fucking, can I take my refrigerator with me? That's probably what I said right there. But can I take the fucking refrigerator with me? I ain't even mentioned no money. It was like, here, here's the fucking money. That ain't shit. And I used to work hard for my money. Like, burn my hands on the stove all day. And then go fucking smoke weed. <laughs> and fucking, yeah. see, I work too proficiently that. If I had a bitch, I got off work early. Or if I, I got my work done instead of fucking sitting around lollygagging, playing in my ass all day, I get my work done and then fucking go lollygag around the hotel and kick it with Paul. Fucking GG. Oh, they probably mad because I helped Paul clean the rooms. Paul was a homosexual guy, see? This is what people didn't know. This straight guys out there comfortable enough to be around homosexual guys. And don't think of how it look to the outside world because inside here, it's like, shit, we already know. So, but now that I get older and I think about it, I could sit in the gay room, in the gay guy house. I done sat at Paul House, played the video games, got high, went home, but who knows? His neighbors probably was thinking, ain't no way. The grown ass man in there smoking weed, playing video games, two grown men alone in the house, knowing one of them is homosexual. Well, you want to ask the two shot Derringer? Go sitting on the next tent. He fell asleep. I played the game. I don't even fucking remember. It's some Chinese game. That's how it always tends to work. The Chinese people get some stupid game. It was like he could run fast and jump high. <laughs> Sounds like some fucking not PF flyers. The other ones. Mmm. <laughs> Fuck. That's what it was. All right, get back pissed off. That fucking bitch. First of all. Oh, from the refrigerator to the fucking shacks on my son's feet. Because it's funny to me. When we bought them, I was thinking in my head about that one time my dad bought me some shacks. And I was fucking pissed. But then, we bought him a bunch of fucking shoes from Walmart at the same time. So they wasn't all shacks. Now, when I seen them, the shacks, they're actually too big anyway. They floppy on his fucking feet. They look ridiculous. And David didn't buy them, but when we painted them, well, DJ painted them. She gonna get mad and then try to act like I don't do shit. I didn't, I got the shoes for the boy. My mama might have bought them, but it don't matter. Bitch, you didn't. That's 
what happened. I, I knew. With this is what. Oh, John Legend. I'm sorry. We'll just leave that conversation alone. My kid's mom had a miscarriage. If if she gave a miscarriage, basically, I would tell you y'all y'all incompatible. That's the way the God works. It basically means that for real. Think logically, everyone. I'm sorry. To those whom do not believe. I remember my lazy ass, or I was probably off work that day. Getting up, it's around Christmas time. Dave had to go lucky ass, then had to go to the hospital. They done gave her some shot because she didn't have a miscarriage. She came home high and happy. And I say, bitch, you dirty bitch. How you happy you just miscarried my fucking baby? That's why Chaka's still pregnant. I'm going back with Chaka now. And I didn't go back with her, but I was still fucking on her. And then, then the baby came out, and I said, that ain't my fucking baby. And then my mom said, you better check that picture. You better look at your pictures, fucking white people. And then the fucking... Oh, find out that ain't my baby. I'm on my way to the joint. You already know how that go. This is what it is. The queen of the damned. The damn Tony O. <clears throat> Wanted me sexually. He told me to get on with his sister in the beginning. You should go with my sister. His big sister. Tonio was kind of like the baby boy, but not really. Now, between me and you, if Tonio is Tonio that I'm thinking that, like, undercoverly had two kids, knowing damn well, shouldn't have had one, thanking God he didn't have a war, yeah, pretty much. I was going to say, he wanted me to have sex with somebody he know so they could talk about my dick. That's crazy. I'm thinking it goes into the subject of my dick versus your dick. My dick is like the vibrator. I ain't seen one in a long time. So not a dildo. The vibrator. Not a silver bullet. The vibrator. Like a normal one would be, you got to be able to cover it in your hand if somebody walks in, you just... Depending on... The time frame of the moment. I'm going to use two hands. But. Damn, damn, damn. Because it wasn't even supposed to be this conversation. Oh, yeah, it, it is. Because, see. My dick. Been measured. Within the compounds of a vagina. I don't use a fucking ruler. Fucking yardstick or none of that shit. The common sense to say my dick's big enough to prove a point. Um, oh, dude, the dude in them, dude in them, Mandingo. They went fucking up behind me, right? Man, you, I got a little dick with vibrator sized and herpes. So this big ass. The horse dick guy went fucking up behind me and caught some bumps. I'm hoping. Or I was assuming. Like, forever. Not forever, but like recently, kind of forever. Assuming. Y'all went fucking up behind me. Now y'all got them big bumps. That's what's wrong with y'all. But y'all don't even know. I don't got them. But I just had three of them on my fucking lip. The three big ones that we talking about right now. All right, three big elephants. It's my baby mom, Antonio. Oh, and Mary. See, this is what happened. Yep, there it go. 
Because Mary, that's Day Day's sister. Day Day, big sister. Yeah. Dodo for a reason. Um, first time I ate shrooms, we were downtown. I had Dodo with me. He was outside. I don't know. I was in Diesel. Went to the bathroom to take a piss. When I turned around, I seen guys by the sink. Kind of like, huddled up. What the fuck y'all got going on? I didn't even realize Diesel was a gay bar at the time. Like, literally didn't. And, oh, he had a bag of shrooms. Oh, shit, I want some. You got the drugs. That's Doug, White Doug, fucking... If that ain't his name, it's White Mike, whatever it is, you know, be I. Eat the fuck shrooms. I'll come outside here day day. I just bought some shrooms from white boy. Look at him. Shit. <coughs> chili dog. Disgusted. Be easy. They used to have some really good chili dogs, though. Now, we eat the fucking shrooms. Finish the rest of the night downtown. Get to my crib. Smoke a blunt. We sitting there smoking a blunt. I'm in the bed like this. Laid back, chilling. And then the sun like start coming up. And it was like probably the happiness. <laughs> the happiness just came in the window. And he said, uh, aren't you happy? I said, oh. And the ceiling was a little wavy with the lights. It was like the sunset on the ceiling. And I was high as shit. And I said, Day Day. You feel that shit? He was down there by my feet. Sitting like this. <laughs> he said, Dada, you feel that shit? <laughs> he said, yeah, like, in your legs. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I said, all right, get the camera out. Get the phone. We got to do MTV Cribs. And then my mom got up in the morning. I said, oh, yeah, I found White Doug at the club downtown. And we ate some mushrooms. And she said, I got to go to work. I said, you fucking take me to work or something. I don't know. I had a video at one point in time. See, the difference in me and other people, I will do drugs openly and say, this is how they going to make you act. Everybody don't want to act how they act. I don't want to act like God. Because then it makes people look at me in a certain light. I give everyone the ability to understand who God truly is. First, one must understand the word. Clarence's parents have real good marriage. This only went down fourteen dollars on Clarence. Well, yeah, fourteen bucks, nigga. In between all that sentence, what the fuck is going on now? I, nigga, like I'm twenty nine years old, finna be thirty. Like last, what is it? March 2020. March of 2020, the last time I had sex. You know, for a guy like me, that's really something. 
because I haven't been in prison or anything like that. But I have been around a lot of fucking odd vibes. Like, what it is, they say, a whole lot of fish in the sea. Well, if you're a guy like me, either you're going to fish out the river or you're going to take your ass to Kroger's because you can't go to no fucking ocean. Well, mental health court and probation are different. Yeah, because probation, I just got to check in once a fucking week. Mental health court, I got to go do classes three days a week and go to court once a week. That's every fucking week I got something to do for a fucking year. They trapped me again. Peoria. It was India fucking fault. You fucking bitch. Now. That's why. You said fucker. Alright. Now. What it is though. I let my baby mama have a baby before me. I should have went fucking having kids. My mom fucking. It's my mom fucking fault. Exactly, that's what the fuck it is. Kathleen motherfucking Straker. She wanted to be, I'm not your fucking daughter, I'm your son. That's the fucking problem. Don't have kids before you get out of high school raising a baby, bitch. It ain't my job to raise the baby, it's the woman's job to raise the fucking baby. That's where the fuck she got it misconstrued. I was supposed to be a grown ass man, have all the fucking kids I want. I can easily help you raise the fucking child. I'll be here when you wake up and then feed me lunch and I'll be back. After dinner, if you fucking act right. If not, I'll just go stay with my other kids all fucking day. You want me to take the kids with me? Or you want my fucking other baby mama to come over here and I just take the kids and y'all hang out with each other? The fuck? Stupid ass shit. Nah. Basically, what had happened was tomorrow's Friday. Once upon a time, my kids would call me on Friday, say, Dad, we finna come there down there, and I gotta be a dick now, and say, Jade is not my fucking kid. I didn't push her out my nuts. I might have created her and fucking molded her or something, but I'm not her fucking daddy. She can call me dad. It's fair enough. But technically, no. She, she called me Big Don. And she used to call me Don Don, and I hated that shit. So technically, she called me dad. I could say I hate that shit, too. You're not my fucking kid. Respectfully, Jada. <laughs> but, all right, now, DJ, Anna, oh, Dequarius, you're not my fucking kid either. Like, respectfully. Or non-respectfully. Dequarius is a whole different category than Jada. So... The query is not my fucking kid. Jada, she not either. DJ and I are my fucking children. You don't have to cuss like that. All right, well, that's probably because somebody with a vocabulary, like, ooh, he, he's supposed to cuss her out. That's what it is. I can't be mad, like, because the papa was Rolling Stone song. It said, her first baby daddy was a mo. You know. Well, my brain calibrates it as the mo's do the most. And they got a lot of intelligence. I know. I know some of the mo's. All right. Now. Oh, they were smart enough to say, you dumbass nigga. We trying to knock some fucking sense into your stupid ass. They trying to get you locked up. And we say you in the way. Not in our way, personally, but kind of. At the same time, you're in the fucking way right now. If you wasn't here, the attention that is being given to you would not be given to you. If you leave, that attention will be dispersed into different people. Get the fuck out of the way. Okay. I'm not even over there. Over there. Over there. Everywhere I go. Uh, 
my fucking mouth. 20 minutes is over. <laughs>